It's Baka Proof here with a basic Japanese grammar lesson. Let's talk about the particles wa and ga and their basic uses. Wa and ga are often used interchangeably, but also have their own subtle different uses. This is known to cause a lot of confusion for beginners, so let's focus on the basic use of wa and ga first. A quick note about the syllable wa. Usually, it's written like this, but as a particle, it's written like this. Both wa and ga are used to identify what is being talked about in the sentence. The word that comes right before wa or ga is the thing that we're talking about. For example, watashi wa fredo desu means I'm Fred. Watashi comes right before wa, so watashi which means I is what we're talking about in the sentence. Watashi wa. Let's substitute wa with ga. Watashi ga fredo desu. This also means I am Fred. In the same way as wa, watashi comes right before ga. So watashi, which once again means I, is what we're talking about in the sentence. Watashi ga. Now that we've seen the basic use of wa and ga, how are they different? There's actually a number of differences that you'll run into as you learn more Japanese, but the biggest difference you need to know is this. Wa puts emphasis on words after it, and ga puts emphasis on the words before it. Let's look at our previous example sentences again to get a better idea of how this works. Pay attention to the words I put emphasis on as I read out aloud. Watashi wa Fredo desu means I am Fred. Remember that wa puts emphasis on the words after it, so emphasis is put on Fred. I am Fred. Next, Watashi ga Fredo desu. Remember that ga puts emphasis on the word before it, so emphasis is put on Watashi, I am Fred. You can understand basic Japanese without a perfect understanding of the differences between wa and ga, but they will become more important as you learn more advanced Japanese. Let's look at one more example sentence that's a bit more complicated, using both wa and ga in the same sentence. Watashi wa neko ga suki desu. I like cats. Please note that when wa and ga are in the same sentence, wa always comes first. Having both wa and ga in the same sentence can be a bit confusing. Which word is the emphasis being put on? Remember, wa puts emphasis on the word after it, and ga puts emphasis on the word before it. So for this sentence, neko, meaning cat, is where the emphasis is put. And that's it! You'll learn more ways wa and ga are used as we go over more examples. Leave any questions you have in the comments.